Hi loves. So embodied consent is a way of listening to our bodies in order to inform our decisions about consent. You know, it's really that simple um, and it's kind of complicated, right? So the idea behind this is that our bodies give us messages about whether or not we want to do things. And most of us have noticed this at some point in our lives, right? You know, so maybe somebody asked you if you wanted to help them move and you were like, you know, um, you didn't really want to say no to them because it might make them uncomfortable or it might make them sad. But at the same time, you really didn't want to help them move. And so you kind of felt a little awkward or uncomfortable, perhaps. Or maybe, you know, someone who you really didn't want to connect with asked you for a hug and you didn't want to be rude. And so you felt like kind of like a, a weird shift or a crunching or a scrunching, I guess, happening in your body. That's one way that your body kind of tells you that you're not on board with something. And that's a pretty big reaction. A lot of times the responses are a bit smaller. So it might be things like um, noticing your breathing changing or noticing that um, your, your shoulders are in a different place. Like for a lot of us, when we feel kind of stressed, our shoulders kind of rise. So that could be part of it for you. Um, it could also be like leaning back or leaning forward, things like that it may indicate um, that we're not interested or that we're actually quite interested in the thing that's being proposed. And another way that we might, you know, experience it, noticing that we are on board with something or that we might be really interested, interested in something is if we um, kind of are open to it with our bodies and our faces light up for sure, like smiles definitely are a big indicator. Or if um, we, uh, we kind of, you know, get the feeling and the twinge in our bellies, perhaps it like just lets us know that like, yes, this is the thing, this is the thing that you wanna do. Um, yeah, so it's just another bit of information that can help us to understand what it is that we want from moment to moment. And I know for some of us out there, it's really easy to figure out if we're a yes to something, if we're a no to something, if we wanna do it, if we don't wanna do it, and we simply just answer and that's it. Great, good on you. But for the rest of us, things like this can be really helpful in terms of determining when we are on board with something and when we actually want to do something or not. And that's mostly because consent is a complicated thing for a lot of us because we just are told to ignore our bodies. We're told to ignore some of our desires and our needs at times so that we can take care of other folks, so that we can help other people to feel supported, to feel loved, to feel seen, et cetera, et cetera, so that we can be nice or play nice, right? So embodied consent invites you to really feel into your body, to really honor yourself, and to authentically answer whether it is that you are a yes, or a no to something, if you have an indication of that, or perhaps if you're confused about something and you need some additional information or some additional time to figure it out. And the invitation associated with all of this is that you take the time to, to notice what's going on and that you speak your truth around it. And that doesn't mean that you can't still just simply say no with the, and use that as a complete sentence and not say anything more. But it means that yes, you do say that no when you feel clearly that you are a no and that you do say that yes when you feel clearly that you are a yes. It's an invitation again to more um, fully honor what is authentic and true for you. And obviously in order to do that, we have to know what's authentic and true for us. So embodied consent again helps us with all of that. Um, this is the first part of a series and um, next time I will be back to talk more about like what was I going to talk about next? Uh, <laughs> how, uh, yeah, how we get better at this practice and after that I will talk about what this looks like um, in person, like what this looks like when we're actually doing this. All right. So yeah, so go ahead and subscribe so that you can be notified when the next video comes out. Also comment down below if you would like to help to steer some of these videos, or if you just have insights, questions, whatever else. All right. Love you bunches. Bye.